Hey everybody, and welcome back to Blades in the Dark. I know it's been a long hiatus, so uh, thank you for joining us. We're going to pick up right where we left off from before. We're in the middle of a fight with the Wraiths, who are the gang that uh, used to own the lair that the our current crew of Hawkers um, now occupy and have decided to take it back. Um, so we're in the midst of a, of a pitch battle, actually. Uh, right in the middle of it. So let's quickly go around the horn here and introduce our characters. We have a crew of arcane hawkers, is what we're looking at here. So, uh, David, let's start with you. Hi, I'm uh, David. Uh, my character's name is Ludwig Drekovic. Link name. Um, I'll, I'll go next. Sure. Sure. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Ted. Uh, tonight I will be playing Mikhail Dobromovich, but you can call me Big Mickey. And I am Scovlander, too. And I like to fight. So I am the cutter of this game. <clears throat> uh, Chris, my character, is uh, Clinch uh, Reedfield. He um, was also a, uh, a member of the, the, the Scovland uh, military and uh, currently uh, performs uh, experiments. Um, in the midst of research to create a device to prevent uh, the, the the death bells from ringing uh, when people die, um, yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, cool. Actually, uh, you know what, David? I think that I actually muted you by accident whenever you were saying your thing. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go one more time, dude. Let's go back around to David. Sorry, one more time. One more time. All right, muted. All right, my name is David. My uh, character is Ludwig Drakovac. Uh, his nickname is Ryan. He's an ex-military Scovlander and the hound of the group. Cool. And I'm John. I'm running the game. <laughs> We're right. not worthy. We're not worthy. Can I All believe right. yeah, last we left off, I had just shot a couple guys through the head. Yeah, is uh, everyone can go to the YouTube channel. I've actually watched it a number of times because it's actually really fun to watch. Is uh, your uh, your magnificent shot oh, of yeah. lining up? Um, you were gonna go for two, and we were giving you like um, because you were because you deliberately wanted to aim for two. We were giving you a desperate situation with limited effect, and then you ended up rolling two sixes on the roll, which was amazing. So you critted the first crit, and so I gave you a, a, a third guy. Um, make so, up for all the crippling damage I took the last couple sessions. Yeah, yeah. So it was badass. You did it. You did it from a. So the you had sent Cobb. You had sent Cobb off, right? Cobb. Uh, well, actually, no. Cobb went down to talk to the Rays. Ryan, you you a um, lined up a shot from across the street and blew three of them away. The two that were out front talking to Cobb, and the third who was in the shop front, um, who just happened to line up into your line of sight right at the last second. And Cobb got spattered with blood and trucked, uh, trucked off down the street. Um, th and now you're in a pitched gun battle right now with the last Wraith who is out front. And he is now hiding behind the counter. Sure. Um, right. And of our are, hideout. Of your hideout, yeah. And he's hiding behind the counter of the apothecary shop and inside the building. Um, you are not in the building. You're still on top of the roof of the building opposite on the on the other side of the street and um tubes actually came around the corner and distracted them uh, both of you at the same time so that both of your shots kind of went array uh, went array awry right yeah um and so tubes you are tubes you're kind of halfway in between both scenes here it's like you you're, you came around the corner said right. what, the, what the hell and then the shots went wild but you had just come from Big Mickey in the back, and where there was two um, other rays who were attempting to get through the wards that you guys had set up, and the heavy locks that you had set up at the back entrance, um, you had thrown your smoke bomb tubes, right. and in the smoke, Big Mickey then followed up. You used that as a setup action for Big Mickey, and Big Mickey had then uh, fired his blunderbuss into that smoke, not needing really to aim, and heard the screams of pain as the smoke uh, was misted red. Um, but there's still... Um, they're still yelping in pain, and I had promised Ted that we would pick up with your action, Ted, because you were because we had basically been focusing on the front right. um, front of the store action at the very end of the session. Right. So that is a situation as it stands right now. So we have a pitched gun battle um, on the front in the front, and we have a melee basically in the back. Um, right. It is nighttime, as it always is. And, and Duskfall, 
Um, the few people who were out on the streets at the time have all scattered to the four winds after the shots of two loud firearms, one in the front, one in the back. And now there right. is the... Um, now, we know that the rays, their kind of signifying thing is that they wear sort of like ninja masks across their nose and mouth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they say silent, and they have their own kind of thieves camp that they use, like a side language that they use to communicate. Um, and so they're known to be like silent. That's like their thing, you know. Um, but... A blunderbuss is going to cause even the most silent <laughs> to yelp a little bit, and that's what's going on right now. Okay, so um, uh, Mickey, you are alone. You are alone back there. The right. smoke is starting to clear. You can see like yep. the silhouetted shapes. Um, there it's, is a electroplasmic. There's like a single electroplasmic light that is. But it's an alley, basically, right? Yeah, it's like whatever you basically want it to be. Like I assume yeah. that because it's your secret back entrance, that it is not well illuminated and it's and it's hidden. Right. Um, yeah, I'm envisioning it's a, you know, not narrow, not skinny, but, you know, not a wide street. It's a it's an alley, cobblestones, it's gross trash and stuff like that. Right. And the back door is like one of these sort of big heavy doors with, you know, nothing that says apothecary on it or anything like that, right? Right. I, yeah, I would. Um, it's up just to the, you. Um, just the back door of the place, right? So it's probably barred and locked and all that kind of stuff. Well, we had kind of flavored it earlier that Tubes was sort of the man responsible for setting up the wards. You actually, one of right. your one of your crew sheet um, benefits, I think, is that your lair is secure. That comes right. with being oh, yeah, a, that's right. with a hawker. So we were we hadn't de determined the exact nature of it, but um, right. it just means that, like, you know, for instance, like, you could you could camouflage that heavy steel door. Like, it could look like right. something else. Or, well, but it's their yeah. lair. They kind of knew where the door was. Yeah, whatever yeah. it was, they were trying to get in. They knew, they knew where it was. We, yeah, yeah, they knew where it was. We smoke bombed it. I let them have it, and so the next <laughs> thing I want to do is, after tubes goes around front, is I'm just going to go into that smoke, full on, you know, Mister Savage, uh, Big Mickey, and I'm going to beat seven kinds of tar out of him with the butt end of my blunderbuss. Okay. Um. So. So what, what action do you want to use? Yeah, so um, one of my special abilities is Savage. So um, what I'm thinking here, big picture, is I'm going to go in. I'm going to get super brutal. Um, if I kill one, that's fine. And the other one, um, I intend to uh, beat him to the point where I can um, get an extra die on uh, commanding a frightened target. Um, With Savage? Savage? Yep. All right, let me check it out here. And I'm going to tell him to sort of, you know, go away and never come back. <laughs> sort of thing. Only, you know, louder and more scary Russian type thing. Sorry, Skoblender. Okay, so that's that's going to be a different... That's not right now. Right now you're going to Nope, be, nope, that's a big picture. That's a big yeah. picture. So at this point, what we're talking is, I'm... I'm if they're down, can I see them at all, or is there still enough smoke? Uh, you can see their vague shapes through the smoke as it's starting to dissipate, where before you couldn't. So okay. you can see like their silhouetted figures. They are not down. They are, um, they are, uh, like reeling around in the smoke and and clutching their wounds. Okay, so, I mean, this kind of sounds like a skirmish situation. Uh, that's what it sounds like to me too. Yeah. Okay. So, I intend so, to uh, skirmish the hell out of them. All right. I'm going to say it is. They are still threats, um, but they right. are, uh, they're kind of distracted, obviously, so I'm going to call it risky. Okay, um, so if I click the skirmish button, my position is risky, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, because it's two against one, even though they're wounded. Yeah. Okay. And I'll call it... Uh, 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 they're wounded, but I've got a big I'm, old gun that I'm hitting them with. Yeah, I'm going to say that normally because they were distracted, it would be um, great effect. But, but because it's... you are equally as blind in the smoke as they are, um, that I'm going to reduce that back to standard. Standard, so, okay. Uh, it's just yep. going to be a typ typical roll, risky standard, unless you want to modify. Um, um, oh, there was a... This actually brings up perfectly um, the one yep. note I had from last time for rules, um, just so we're all aware. Uh, when you push yourself, right? Um, for stress, for, right? For two stress, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you use two stress to push yourself, um, we've been doing it where you can just get like uh, you can add a die, like one die to yeah. your roll. Um, um, we we also know that you could push yourself for two stress to add one to your effect level instead. Right. 
um, instead of the die roll, but I found out that you can actually do both for a total of four stress Ooh. should you need to. So if you really want to go nuclear, that's, right. that, that's an option. Right, stress, okay. it's when you hit, what, eight that you... I think it's nine, nine when you hit nine, I think, then is you whenever get a, you Then you trigger. get a trauma? Yeah. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you have to indulge your vice to reduce stress in downtime. Uh, we are technically in if, downtime right now, actually. But What if fighting is my vice? Hmm? What fighting is my vice, John? It's fighting in the fighting pits, right? Oh, yeah. come on. Yeah, nice. Um, nice try. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a min maxing right there, man. I'll tell you what. I'm always okay. indulging my vice. I never stressed. Yes. Okay. My vice is wearing clothes and walking around and breathing air. Um, so, so ris risky standard. No, you can you no, can push. Is... I don't think you can get assistance from anybody. Nope. Um. You can, uh, uh, I, or you can do a devil's bargain if you want. That's what I'm can... trying to think of. If there's something worth pitching as an idea for a devil's bargain, um, um, you guys can volunteer one too if you want. Let's see. I don't have an obvious one. I mean, yeah, I think in this situation, um, I'm going to take advantage of the 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 opportunity and the smoke and see what happens and and wing it from there. Okay. Uh, I don't feel like it's time to make the bargain or push to right. finish them off. Like I've got them wounded. I'm going to hit them some. See where we go with cool. this. Oh, and so speaking of which, too, that all of your character sheets have have not been modified since last time, and they should not be. So right. any stress and load, the same to me. everything's the yeah. same. Yeah. Yeah, I've got some stress. Oh, uh, does this count as a large weapon, John? Uh, this is a blunderbuss. Yeah. I guess as a as a blunt instrument, yeah, I probably would be. Well, right. I mean, on my load, um, there's a difference between like fine heavy weapon or large weapon. Well, it's uh, actually fine, fine heavy. heavy weapon. I guess is what it would be. It's two dots on a load, but I've got a normal of five. So, yeah, I, I'd say that's heavy weapon. Okay, I'm gonna I mark those can, off. Right compared now. to a hand weapon, it's definitely not a. It's definitely yeah. Not a hand weapon. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm 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 rolling it. Gotcha. Uh, okay, no bonus dice at this point. Oh, wait. Right? Uh, let me, let me, give me one second. I want to switch over to the <coughs> game screen here. Okay. Uh, do that. And then we're going to do a little bit of this. I like it. No, there we're not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm not used to this. It's I been a know, long time. It's painful. Hold on. Jesus, mother. <laughs> hey, hey, we got someone on our, on our chat. Hi there, just some regular gamers. Of course, there's someone oh, there. Right when I screw up, we're gonna. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit some bad guys. Okay, I'm ready. Ready? Now. I'm ready. Oh, okay, no bonus dice. We decided, right? Uh, decided. no bonus dice. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, fail! Oh, snap! Oh, my God. What's, what's that about, Ted? Big Mickey has made a tactical <laughs> error. It had to happen sooner and or later. He's about to get made into some sort of dead and person. I know David's actually sweet, You're like smiling inside. He's like, yeah, David, finally. you are redeemed, my friend. You are redeemed. Uh, okay, okay, so what bad. we had, we had a <laughs> had a one and a two risky failure. Uh, things go badly. You suffer harm. Complications. I guess they were not as uh, distracted as I thought. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, I'm going to get stabbed in the belly, aren't I? I think so, actually. I think you're going to suffer a little bit of harm. Um, you're going to yeah. wade into that smoke, um, and you thought you had a bead on them, but the moment that you wade into the smoke, you're also equally as blinded. And uh, what you didn't see when you walked in was that they um, were... They had their own uh, shivs, basically. The moment they, they were under attack, they had those out, and they were basically flailing wildly in the air, knowing that an attack was coming. Um, and so just... Basically, by happenstance, um, as you wade in, uh, you swing wildly at one's head. He ducks underneath, yep. and uh, a shiv goes directly into your gut. That's what I would have done. Uh, so you're going to take some harm. Let's see what we got yep. here. Uh, I'm going to give you... Uh, let's see, hold on regular harm so I'm gonna give you a level two harm now this is the kind of thing that I can I can uh, take stress to prevent right yeah I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you a lowdown you get to tell me if you want a resistance okay if you it. want to resist it so um, right. it's level two and I'm gonna call it um, well call it what it is it's a shiv in the belly 
<laughs> which is going to be it's going to it's going to cause you to have minus one d to any action where that would yeah. be a problem and i think that's pretty right. much any action <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Shiver in the belly Shiver in the belly my lads Shiver in the belly okay so would you like to resist that i i tend to resist the shiv in the belly okay so it's uh you are going to roll um you can just hit the attribute name on your character sheet that um, i tend to roll against uh, yeah, and so that one is definitely going to be prowess. Prowess. Um, do, I, do I have to mark off? You don't mark off anything. You just hey. if you just hit the name the prowess, it'll roll oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then you're gonna it'll automatically uh, calculate your six minus um, your highest die result, and that's how much um, yeah stress you incur. R remind me how the armor feature works. Uh, oh, the armor. That. Yeah. Um, uh, that. What does that do? I think it actually because it, it 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 gives you a bonus to your roll, or it takes some of your. I think I it takes. I haven't brought up my uh, my I PDF. Think yet. I think it takes. Um, it substitutes for stress, but let me look it up here. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Nope, it's been a while. Yeah. I knew there was a window I was forgetting to open. It's my my rules PDF. Mm -hmm. Fine now. now. Word up. What that thing. This is actually a good time since I'm going to be using it to advertise. Oh yeah! Yeah, and we've got what do you got? Special edition and the regular. Oh right? yeah, baby! The hard copy, huh? Yeah, man. Um, oh, hold on. Right. So, what are we doing here? Armor. Armor. Thirty-two. If you have a type of armor that applies, you can mark an armor box to reduce or avoid a consequence instead of rolling to resist. Ooh, so it's even better. Oh, the uh, example is actually a level 2 harm cut to the ribs. Um, Shiv in the belly, me lad. He marks the armor box, the harm becomes level 1 bruised. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, but I don't personally own any armor. Although I have it on my load list so I could just decide I have it, right? Yeah. Yes, you could. Um, I think Shiv in the Belly sounds like a mighty good time to be wearing some armor. Yeah. It is on your so, load list? Oh, yeah. That's uh, well, yeah. It's, it's in the white part, not the gray part, but that doesn't that, matter, right? That's fine, yeah. You just yeah. It would use up two more of your five. Yeah, and I got five slots, so you know, yeah. I guess I won't be having any demolition tools with me. Okay, so you but want to be wearing a, to a party anyway. A little bit of like stiff leathers, I suppose, right? Well, you know, I've got on me uh, me golden gloves boxing belt or something. Right? <laughs> it's a big medallion that says "Fabuloso" on it. Um, so I uh, I'm wearing that. So I still roll the. No. So are you gonna are you going to use the armor? I'm using the armor. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna click that armor box then. Click the armor box. Which um, so I did. that's that's done, and that and just it, automatically reduces. It automatically uh, it automatically reduces or clears whatever the result of, depending on what I deliver to you. So what I'm gonna say is is that because it was a shiv, um, an accidental shiv to the belly, and yeah. you had actually armor plating there where it hits. Um, I'm not gonna say it's reduced harm. It, you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna say like it's you know it, the dagger. I yeah, well, or the dagger just kind of glances off, or snap, or the shiv just like snaps off on the plating. Um, like it I don't think off it, my huge belt buckle. Yeah, I don't think it like goes a little bit in and gives you like a little bit of a cut. You know what I mean? It's right, like okay. it either get it either goes in or it doesn't. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna actually give you a total clear on that one. I like it. A fine um, use of armor, I think. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, and lots of red little boxes marked on my character sheet. Now. Yeah, that Upside. always looks that always looks cool. All right. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, you wade in in the midst of that melee and uh, start going to town. So it, it kind of spoils out. the effect of your savage follow-up th thing a little bit, yeah, you know, as, you, right. as you're kind of flanneling around as well. Um, uh, so I think... Um, uh, I'm happy to keep hitting them. Yeah, it's like in this kind of situation where you're sort of equal tier around. They're a little bit more powerful than you. If they're like much more powerful than you in tier, what usually mm -hmm. happens is is that uh, they recommend in the book that in combat that they would get they would basically have initiative. Like I would tell you what they're doing to you, and then you would have to resist it. Actually, yep. yep. Um, 
Um, they're not like that much more powerful. They're a little bit more powerful than you. Um, but they're also wounded. Um, yes, they're also wounded. Yeah, so uh, that probably kind of puts you on equal footing. Right. Uh, so and I I'm gonna. Sexy so what I'm gonna say is, is because it's basically player driven as far as it's not. It's not like their turn and they get to make an action yeah. roll. There is no yeah. action rules in the NPCs yeah. part. But what I'm gonna say now is that you are in a desperate position. Um, basically, I'm no matter no matter what you do. Um, because yes. you're in the midst of the smoke and you are just as blind as they are. You think that within the span of probably about 10 seconds, the, the smoke will dissipate until where you can re you guys can really size each other up. Okay? Okay. So uh, I'll give you another another thing if you want to go before we switch back to the other scene. I, I see little option at this point but to keep swinging and I hope I don't uh, get killed. Okay. Um, so uh, I intend to continue skirmishing. Um, so I'm going to call it desperate and standard. Risky, desperate, okay, desperate, standard. Mm -hmm. um, now here's where a deal with the devil uh, seems to be more appropriate. So I'm thinking something along the lines of um, the. Uh, the opportunity arises for me to, you know, I see one well enough that I can sort of really, uh, really jump on him, you know, like get my gun right around his neck and kind of choke him or something. But it mm -hmm. means that I guess I'm right up against him that maybe my armor is not very effective. Um, yeah, though, well, okay. Like you, you can't use armor basically. Well, you already used your armor. Your armor's been done. Oh, it's kind of a one-shot deal, right? Yeah, it's a one-shot deal, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So that, that doesn't work. Yeah. Um, um, so but I, it would give him a bonus die, maybe. Well, let's let's face it. Uh, potential of Devil's Bargains on um, exactly what the goal is. We need to, with the action roll, state exactly oh, which, yeah. what you hope to have happen. Uh, my hope is that... So basically, I'm in there. I'm swinging around with this gun. Yeah. We're, weave. I dodge, I dodge, I weave. And uh, <clears throat> the as the smoke moves and one guy trips and another guy comes forward, I have the opportunity to get my gun right around a neck and um, choke wanna, him, crush his whip by, yeah, pull it like, like you, up like that. Use your own body basically to uh, Yeah, use leverage. the gun to pull him into me and break his neck or crack his windpipe or like that's something hardcore. horrible to Yeah, that's hardcore. I'm I desperate. Like okay, uh, that's great. So desperate, standard. Um, so that's what I'm out for. Let's but I'm say, getting close. I'm up close to person. I'm not swinging with the thing. Now he's right into me. So he gets, okay, devil's devil's bargain. Devil's, devil's bargain. Yeah. Here's devil's bargain. Um, I'm going to say that your initial blunderbuss blast actually shattered some um, glass somewhere, mm -hmm. and there is glass shards in the ground, um, mm -hmm. and that uh, if you want your extra die, you're going to uh, you're, you'll uh, no matter what happens with your move, you're going to go. You're going to fall prone backwards with him. Or, or or you're going to fall prone by yourself, uh, yourself depending yeah, on what the action is, and you're going to fall back, and you're going to take um, a level one harm of, uh, you know, sliced glass up glass in the back. Glass in the back, yeah. Level one. Devil no matter what, job. no matter what, you will take level one. Devil doesn't like me. But you get plus one die to your roll. But I get plus one die, and I can kill a wraith. And you're automatically going to get an XP for rolling, because it's desperate. So that's pretty dope. I could use some XP, so I will learn from my experience and stop doing stupid crap like this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm taking the devil's bargain, my lad. I love it. All right, cool. All right. Great, so you get an extra Passing die. Passing me back, shivin' me belly. <laughs> okay. I got a bonus die, and I'm rolling the skirmish. Huzzah! It's not All success, right. but that's it's good. not... No, success. You know, should, always should be happy with. Um, okay. So. Okay, so that was a right. desperate four five. Um, always desperate though, so that's that's the problem. Yeah. Okay, so. So I got glass in me back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna introduce a serious complication um, as a result of this. So <laughs> you do. So you 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 bring him around. And you can hear like his throat basically crunching as you pull back, um, yeah. but he is happens to be like one of the the, the more Weasley of the two. Like he's able to <laughs> squirm and move. So um, he basically immediately knows how to adjust to this, and basically, you know, he actually leans back into it. You know what I mean? Like he's, he yep. leans back even further, attempting to force you to the ground. Ooh, you have a kitty. 
and the um, the force, uh, you know, his force actually throws him back, throws both of you back. <laughs> That's the wraith. That's the wraith that you're fighting. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So you you hurl yourself His back. His name on is Nosferatu, by the way. Oh wow, how appropriate! Uh, you you hurl yourself back onto the ground. He he hurls you and him back onto the ground. The glass shatters underneath you, slicing your back, causing you to grunt in pain. Um, and he actually manages to twist so that he is now on top of you with his face right at yours. Okay, um, and so I basically, give him a big he, old Bugs Bunny kiss. Um, yeah, so he wrenches the, the, the rifle out of your, you know, it's still in your hand, but it's it's no longer choking him. Yeah. Um, Did I hurt him? Yeah, you hurt him big time. Okay, okay. Yeah. He's so he, talk like this for a while. He's just like spitting blood right now. He's like coughing and trying to okay. catch his breath as he's All on right. top of you, but now you're in a really bad spot. Okay. Um, and you're going to take level one harm. Yeah, I recorded it. And what is that? Uh, me back. Is that reduced uh, effect, it I says think? less effect, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, so that's the situation right now. Um, we don't know okay. what his buddy is doing. Um, you don't really have a field of vision. So let's uh, cut back to the front of the shop. Um, Ryan, you okay. are Ryan, you are on top. You're across the street on top of the building. You're blowing the smoke out of the end of your rifle because you're such a badass. And um, and tubes, you are on the side of the building and are on the same. You know plane you're on the ground yeah. next uh but you're not inside the shop yeah okay. do we have david yeah david are you there no. oh yeah he's frozen oh mm. i thought he was just bored <laughs> just staring at the screen <laughs> hey uh david you need david oh. back chris w is typing david oh no nope. he's definitely uh, trying he's definitely trying something oh dear um, you want to go back to me real quick, John? Just keep uh, going. Well, Tubes, uh, what what are you? Let's go back. Let's go okay. to you. Okay. Oh, he's gonna, Tubes, he's what's up, buddy? Yeah. So we have. Um, I I've just come around the alley. There's a guy behind the counter, right? Uh, there is a guy behind the counter. Yeah, he's he behind is. Behind the counter, inside the shop, sort of around to my right. Right, and he has just finished a shot. Um. Right. Okay. And he he was shooting. Um. Sorry. Okay. Am I good? And, and, and yes, you're good. Ludwig is is shooting. Ryan is is shooting from across the street. Yes. All right. Okay. Um. So you got to beat on both of them. Okay. Um. What? That's... Sorry. So there's like a you're, you basically there's like a side window that yeah. you can that you can look in and see the the wraith that is behind the the counter. Yeah. So I would actually say that from your vantage point, you actually can see his entire body because you're looking in a side window. Okay. Whereas Ryan, who is looking in the front from an angle, only has his torso. Um, okay, cool. All uh, right. But you can you can obviously easily position yourself just by moving into the front of the store, but you'd also be exposing yourself. Uh, one second. So I have um these awesome alchemicals. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I think okay. Those are mostly like okay. I, I have um, I, I I'm gonna pull out a vial of of binding oil. Ooh, okay. Uh. Which is essentially like like super glue. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> um, and I want to uh sort of like quickly lean into the the the, the storefront window mm -hmm. and like like try and lob it at this guy and like affix him where he is <laughs> awesome okay let me see if i can find if they actually have like the uh um the work up for that yeah it says um binding oil uh permanently fuses two surfaces until dissolved by alkahest or electroplasm oh dope all right that's easy okay um awesome so, so i just kind of want to like lob this and like fix him in place to kind of give ryan a little bit more control over it. like like make him less mobile awesome i love it okay cool so do you want to like have a break at his feet basically that's the idea. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, we'll say the window's open. I'll go with that. Um, but you still it requires a little bit of uh, aim. Uh, actually, pretty pretty good aim. So let's call it um, risky. I call it risky standard. Okay. Yeah, Wait, I haven't that. picked an action yet. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Duh. Um. 
I was gonna go with the wreck, but that might not be specific enough. Like, is, is would that throwing happen? a grenade basically? Wouldn't that be like well, a I'm finesse? I'm like smashing something. I maybe it might be finesse, which is not as great. Um, but uh, I guess I guess if it's like a small <laughs> vial, then wreck is a little bit. Well, I can I I buy finesse too because I I do you know it's like a small window. Right. You have to aim it through with yeah, a certain exactly. kind of arc and I have think, it yeah. hit at his feet, you know. <laughs> well, that's um, my better question. role, but I think finesse makes more sense. Isn't, um, uh, didn't David use, like, hunt or something for some of his, like, aimed shots? Or did yeah, I? Yeah, hunt totally is the know? basic, like, uh, that's like the, the bow and arrow or the rifle sort right. of. Right. Is that a thing that you do, Tubes? What? Or hunt? Hunt. You don't have any dice in that, do you? No. Yeah, okay. That'd be hard to, um, hard for me to buy. Wreck um, tubes would ob obviously apply here as well, but I would say I would reduce it down to limited effect because it means that you're not being as precise in your aiming. Um, I'd rather do that actually. Why do I'd the rather wreck? go? I'd rather go limited effect than have because I have zero in, in finesse. Okay, total. Okay. Um, yeah, let's uh, do that. So let's call so, it. Yeah, uh, I'm essentially, I'm being imprecise. I'm trying to just throw it. Um, I, and right. I, honestly, like. I think, like, my best case scenario, maybe my critical scenario, is it, like, affixes his feet to the ground. Mm -hmm. But my, like, even, like, if it, like, gets on him and then he goes like this and, like, like Yeah, whatever. It's all it's all gravy. <laughs> yeah. Tracks him for a second, that's also good, you know? Okay, totally. So, I don't know if this is, like, a setup action for Ryan to take another shot, maybe. If you want it to be. I think that makes the most sense. Okay, so let's, okay, so let's call it, um, uh, actually... I don't want to make that mistake again where I'm calling position and effect whenever it doesn't actually need it. Sorry. Um, let's look up setup effect. Shit up. 135. Yeah. You don't say. 135 in one of these old fashioned tree books. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, out of dead trees. Ba, ba, ba. Fashion has its intended result. Any member of the team who follows through on your maneuver gets plus one effect or improved position for their role, and you get to choose that uh, tubes. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we do have to do it. So it's it's gonna be I'm gonna call it risky limited effect. All right. Gonna roll that wreck. Position risky. Effect stand, effect limited. Right, because I'm using wreck. Great. Um, yes, limited. I'm gonna. You can push yourself, or if you want to double the bargain, just ask. Well, you got one. I stick my hand to the wall. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's gonna be kind of, be kind of rough. <laughs> uh, um, what would be the, uh, How far away is he from the the? Yeah, this, uh, this the flashback could, uh, could could get him. Yeah, ways. you end up with this stuck on you like this. Yeah, well, I'll go with that. That sounds it's kind of funny. We'll what go with that? that <laughs> um, well, you it had to be. It had to be very. It had to be very specific. Yeah, I'll say. I'm not gonna like root you in place, but we'll say a little, little bit of splashback um, hits you on the hand and like attaches your hand to like your chest or your head or something. All like right, that. great, great. Yeah. I love it. Okay, cool. So I go. I, I come around the corner. I see this gunfire come out of the shop. I like fumble in my my alchemical bandolier. I lean out and I just like blindly chuck this this little vial of like. <laughs> insane glue in there awesome um, one bonus die i could totally see this it's fantastic yep. all right so, so then like I, I throw it in <laughs> through the window yeah um and then my effect is limited so i guess <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. i like without realizing it I, I have some on my hand and i like go back to grab something else and then i'm just like <laughs> oh, oh dear <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> um, so then, yeah, my effect is limited, so I don't know what happens with him. Okay, so this is this is what I'm going to say. This is kind of cool. I kind of like it. <laughs> um, so uh, it's risky. So and you got a four or five so with limited right. effect. So yeah, you, you, exactly what you said happened. Um, the the you get stuck with your hand. Um, you're like, oh shit. And the potion goes in and bursts. The splashback happens and gets your hand stuck. Um, <clears throat> but the way in which that the the binding potion explodes, kind of sprays over him, um, uh, and it roots him to the ground because that's you know that's your intended cool. effect. Uh, but it also causes his arm with his gun in it to actually be stuck in the position where it's basically aiming right at you, <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> where he can't move um, his arm. We, we see a moment. Okay. My my, my, my man and his fingers slowly. 
like, <laughs> yeah. my, my, my thing that I, for some reason I had it in my head that I had to keep doing this in real life. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, and, I, and ideally I want to give Ryan a greater position. Essentially now he has like, can fire from like a controlled position or whatever because the other guy is like, Slightly yeah. Okay. So, well, it all depends on what Ryan wants to do, but whatever right. Ryan decides to do, he'll be plus one position of that. Um, but okay. uh, so the end mechanical result of that four um, tubes is going to be that uh, you are in a desperate position. Okay. Is the complication? I, I'm essentially like struggling here with my glue while this gun is pointed at me. Yeah. Right. Exactly. All right. Um, so so that means I like have to react now, right? Uh, it depends on what the guy is going to do, but it okay. obviously looks like he's got no other choice but to fire at you. <laughs> uh, so, but it, but but it was a setup action. So let's switch over to to Ryan and have that setup take effect first. Um, so Ryan, all you're right. You're I watching. I watch all this. Sorry, go ahead. Yep. Nope. All good. I watch all this go down. Um, he's giving me an advantage on um, position, which in my mind translates as uh, all of the ruckus distracting uh, this guy enough that I don't have to duck from his fire. I'm gonna stand up full full featured and get the perfect angle that I can at him mm -hmm. and try to shoot him uh, uh, swiftly and, and uh, deadly uh, with my rifle. Okay. Um, I would say that uh, yeah, so normally because he would have been free to fire at will um, it would have been a risky shot um, with standard effect because he has the ability to dodge and resist and all that kind of well, to whatever dodge, um, but uh, because of the setup, okay, now he's stuck. Um, it's yeah. completely controlled. It's controlled. Uh, is the effect uh, amplified in any way? Because he can't move. Uh, uh, no, because I, I chose to increase your. Gotcha. Position. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now you can uh, you can you can change that effect if you want to by spending stress or taking. Well, yeah, actually, okay. I think the devil's bargain only. If... The, I'm going to go with the control. Uh, and standard effect, you said? Controlled standard, yeah. Mm -hmm. No bonus tie. Uh, any devil bargains you guys think of? Can you guys think of one? Tubes get shot regardless. <laughs> <laughs> He's too far away, definitely, to get shot. Oh, uh, well, you mean shot by the wraith? Yeah. Um. That's not terribly proud of tubes, but <laughs> I think that I think that's a little rough. <laughs> How about um uh uh oh uh, goodness. My shot frees him from his binding. I don't know how that shot works. Knocks him right out of his shoes. Yeah, knocks him right out of his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> if he survives, he can run away. Yeah, I'll get but that's kinda cool. Blood. That's kinda cool. A lot of broken glass around. Yeah. FYI. Is uh, that too weak uh, a consequence? Yeah, that, hold on a second. Hold on. I, I got to look something up here. Um, the devil, I'm looking up Devil's Bargain because I'm not sure if uh, sure, sure. if you can add effect or a bonus die. Uh, just to... It's bonus die. It's only a bonus die. Yeah. Not effect level. Okay. Um. Uh. Sorry. Sorry. No worries. <coughs> okay. okay. Uh, this is this is the devil's bargain I'm putting on the table. Is that Sorry. your um your gun will jam? Okay. That's what I'm gonna say. Your gun will jam if you, you want it. Like, you will not be able to use your gun. That's fine. Okay. Cool. All right. So you get plus one die for the thing. Six. Ooh, I nice. needed it, too. There we go. Nice. <laughs> All right. So, All right. Uh, yeah, you take advantage of tubes having locked that guy in place. Line up the sights. And it does exactly what you want, which I assume a bullet to the brain. It is. Right. All right, Indeed. so uh, that ended up being working out perfectly for you. So uh, he tubes. You can see down at your level that uh, he he's you know squeezing the trigger. He's like, I got no choice, yeah. and he's about squeezing the trigger, and then you just see his head like just 
shit. You know, as blood just goes yeah. against the black against the back wall, and he uh, he slumps down. As he slumps down, his uh, his gun hand actually hits the counter. The rifle goes scat uh, the rifle goes scattering. Um, but his arm was soaked in potion, and so he slumps to the ground, but his arm is, like, hanging there, you know, basically. Uh, those ragdoll physics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's some Dark Souls <laughs> physics right there. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, uh, yeah, and then you kind of, you look over with your hand all like this, <laughs> your chest, and you Hi, look Archie. up, and he's, and he's, yeah, he's marting around back here. Um, and, uh, and you see Ryan up there, once again, looking like a complete badass. Actually, he's probably swearing and cursing I'm at his cussing. gun right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're like, God damn it, as you're trying to like ram shot down. And sh- okay, um, okay, so that was dope. Okay, switching <coughs> well, back to tubes. I, I give you a very um, seductive wink, tubes. <laughs> nice. Uh, going back to Big Mickey. You bet. Big uh, Big Mickey in the back. You've got a guy who is spitting blood and choking in your face. Yep. Um, he is on death's door. He's not looked good, but he is in a position yep. to do you harm. So uh, I'm going to say that because there's two of them and there's one of you, and now the smoke advantage. the smoke is cleared. Yeah, yeah. that um, uh, the the guy on top of you is basically is preventing you from having full mo- full full mobility. The other guy is completely free and clear. He's full of buckshot, but um, but. Uh, He's going to come up and he's going to attempt to uh, boot stomp your head. Um, and th- he's actually going to... He's, he's actually, my least important body part. I'm going to say because of the given circumstances, not to be a complete prick, but that is what's going to happen. So you're going to take level three harm, um, uh, crushed s- skull, basically, uh, really bad, um, unless you resist it. Okay. So um, I have an idea for, and I, I don't know if this is, I mean, for resisting, I just roll the die, right? Yeah. And there's no way to modify that by an action of some sort? No, you have to, re- yeah. I'm, just I'm, give, I'm giving them the initiative because they have yeah. much, they have a significant advantage over you right now. Okay. So yeah. I just got to roll prowess and hope like hell I roll. Um, unless you have, things. unless you have more armor slots available um, or something like that. I don't think know. so. No, nope, I don't. Oh, oh, I lost him again. That David Feller again. Yeah, screwing up my camera something. windows. My God. All right, so I'm going to roll prowess to resist this. Uh, and no bonus dice. No. Um, what's going on? Five. Okay, good. So you only take one stress. Oh, great. Um, so, glass in me back and boot in me face. Yeah, so you get the boot in your face, um, but I'm going to say that his companion, who's also kind of there, um, doesn't allow him to kind of quite get the angle that would have instantly yeah. ended you yeah. um, or c- cause severe brain damage. So, I'm going to reduce it down to level 2 harm, <clears throat> and uh, we'll call it uh, Shattered Nose. Oh, it's level 2? Yeah, it, instead of level 3, which is what I was going to give you, you now have level 2 harm. Shattered nose, a pugilist nose. Yeah, like I really, I, and I mean like shattered, like like it is not recognizable as a nose anymore. Oh god. Yeah. All right. Well, I was never the most, uh, <clears throat> never most pretty of the fighters in the pit. Yeah, this has probably happened to you before, frankly. <laughs> unless you're like Oscar. Not a lot of carnage yeah. left in this face, anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mostly just kinda, scar just tissue. Just kind of mashes it around at this I, point. Jeez, I just poked myself in the eye. God, so uh, that's what we call uh, a <laughs> failure on the prowess check there. Uh, yeah, no shit. I just got level one harm. Yeah, I mean, okay. Finger in me eye. <laughs> okay. Um. So uh, yeah, here's the thing though, John. I I discovered from all this glass in my back that I am lying in a pile of very large shards of glass. Yes. Yeah. And there happens to be one in my hand, which happens to be neck distance, you know. I'm, awesome. I, I want to so, put a so piece dirty. Of, <laughs> I want to put a piece of glass in this guy's hand. I or love it. Neck. Okay, desperate position, obviously. Yeah. Um, is this uh, wreck? Do you think? I I I like wreck there. I could go yeah, wreck or skirmish. Like yeah. I mean, it's much of a muchness. I have the same ranks in both. <clears throat> but I think it'll be. I think it'll be similar to the tubes roll in that wreck. Um, uh, okay, 
if you do rec, I'm gonna yep. take I'm gonna take it down to standard effect. Okay. And if I do you're... skirmish, it's skirmish. I would actually because you're trying to can control yourself a little bit better. Is I'm gonna I would call it great effect because you do have the neck and it's open. All right, right I'm there. gonna have to do skirmish though because I'm currently suffering from minus one die and less effect from my injuries. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna so... skirmish it. You're going to skirmish it. It would be great effect. That's going to be reduced to standard because of your smashed, um, because of your. Um, and I'm desperate, right? And you're desperate. So it's desperate. It's desperate standard. standard. Um, you can push yourself for two stress to get a die or increased effect, or both. If you're really crazy, I don't think you have the stress for that though. Um, but I will also offer a devil's bargain, which is kind of obvious. I feel that you will take level one harm, sliced palm. I was going to make that same offer. Yeah. Yeah, so that is, I'm taking that actually for the bonus die. Okay. Wow, you're, you're uh, gonna get, you're gonna get yeah, the shit kicked out of you. But that's what I created this guy for. Is that a thing? What's Ugly that tube fighting. story? Oh no, so you have you have a level two harm and a level one now, right? Yes, and he'll, now he'll have two level ones and, and a level yeah. two. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna need me some Sorry. some healings. Right quick. Well, once I get my hand off my. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to help you. Man. I'll be I'm right here. with you. <laughs> you. Just have to pull this hair, chest hair off. All right, roll them bones. With it. All right. So you got an extra die. Don't forget. I added it. Yeah. All right. So um, what did I say? Desperate standard, right? Desperate standard bonus one die, and uh, how do I account for the minus one die for my harm? Oh well, then yeah, yeah. I just take, take this bonus die away. Yeah, you take it away. So we're just down to it doesn't the 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 D twenty app isn't going to automatically do that. I don't think it does. does it? No, no, it doesn't. No, it's not automated. Yeah, yeah. You just okay, it. You just okay. Go. So just two dice for skirmish. Desperate standard. Do you want to push I, yourself? Remember that with a desperate action of four or five, you get to do it. But there's also, you know, it's it's bad complications with a four or five. I'm just I'm just putting it out there that you know what I mean. Like desperate, you get the XP, but you know there's it's. Oh, it's rough. Did I? I got the XP from last that last roll, right? Well, I don't know if you marked. You got to mark it, yeah. Yeah, so where do I sure put that? Track. Under playbook advancement? No, under the the roll, under the like prowess. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's yeah, right it's right the specific roll. Yeah. Okay, let me mark game. that one off. I don't want to miss that last one. And, and, and mark um, another one. Mark another one because it is desperate. Unless I take stress and I can change that. Uh, yeah. Yes. No, you can you can yep. affect you can get a bonus die or you can change effect level. Oh, well, you can't change your position. You can't change. Your position. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take some. I'm under stress. I'm gonna take two stress and I'm gonna take that bonus die. Awesome. Okay. Cool. So yep. we get. Yep. 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 And I'm so now you're up to three dice. Now I'm gonna um, do that that other desperate roll. Okay. Okay, everybody. I'm praying to all of the the gods of Duskfall. And Skullland. I'm praying too. I'm, I'm excited. Here. Yeah, there it is. Nice. I was like, it's gonna get rougher. <laughs> okay. So. All right. Yeah. All right. So. Hold on, I gotta take an injury level here. Excuse me. Glass in me hand. <laughs> so it does what you want. So go ahead and describe what happens. Um. So he, the guy that boot stomps me, right, steps back for another uh, kick, and the first guy picks up a fist to hit me. Which means that my arm is suddenly free, and doom, big old shard of glass right through behind his windpipe. You know, it just comes right through jugular. <laughs> Nasty. He falls right on top of me. Yeah. Blood everywhere. <laughs> nice, just pouring over your already. And when that first guy's boot comes back, it hits the first, the second guy's head. So it's <laughs> yeah, covered. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Well, your 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 face was already awash in blood from your. And who smash. knows whose blood it is now? Anyway, yeah. So now it's you're just covered red. in blood. We're but, all you know, the same on the inside. It's a great. It's the great like film scene, you know, where like there's an insert shot of just your hand like scrabbling for the blade. You know, the blade. You know what I mean? Exactly. And just like grab you, right? Yeah. And then it like instantly cuts to just whack. <laughs> like, yeah. Right the, you know. Awesome. And the one hand, of the, you know, I got a bloody hand, so the glass is bloody on this side. Yeah, lots of blood on the glass on this side. Yeah, it's making. And he looks real like, surprised for a second. <laughs> right. But only a second. Right. And now his buddy who was stomping on you is like, oh shit! <laughs> As you're just, you look like a nightmare out of like, you know, like horror out of. Here's where the savage thing. part comes in, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Because I'm unleashing physical violence. So. Yeah, you did do that. Are you? 
Why do you well, I can just stab the guy in the neck? <laughs> We're just checking. What does it take with you people? <laughs> You're all callous and immune to true physical violence. Now. Okay, so let's let's just do it. Let's do a quick follow up. If you want to do the savage thing, um, you you want to do a quick follow up action using savage? No, command? at this point he gave me the boot that I intend to try and get him kill him. Ah, okay, cool. All I right, I was so... gonna command him and tell him, you know, this was our base, but really, I I just want to kill him now. All right, so. Pitch bat. Okay, so there's one more guy uh, left, um, but I want to just take a quick break, if that's cool yeah. with you guys. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so give me one second here. Just got to get that ready to go. All right, and we'll see you back here in about five minutes, guys. Thank you.